we have seen that all those who have registered for this online course have access to smartphones. So you all have smartphones, but only 70% have laptops or desktops. So in this case, we have thought of a different technology that can be able to allow all those who have smartphones to be able to access the contents of this online course anywhere, anytime, where they are. And therefore, we have thought of a mobile application that is, will allow you to be able to access the course content, to be able to allow you to be able to submit your assignments, to be able to participate in discussion forums, but at the same time to be able to complete all the activities that will be given in this course, while also you are also to be able to connect with other network participants or course participants. At the same time, you can also be able to share your own experiences. And this application is called Moodle Mobile Application. And this is how it is going to work. To install Moodle Mobile Application into your phone, go to Google Applications and search for, search for uh, Play Store. And then search for Moodle Mobile Application. So Moodle Mobile. Then click on Install. Now your Moodle will be installed. You can go to your phone again to be able to view your Moodle application here. So now your Moodle application is installed. Now let us see how you can be able to use your Moodle application to be able to access the content and participate in the course itself. Go back to your phone and search for the application. So right now you can see this is the Moodle app. Click on the Moodle app and then start navigating. So when you click on the Moodle app, you have to enter your Moodle site address. In this case, the site address, Moodle address is https full colon slash Moodle dot Moarim hub dot ac dot tz. So then click on connect. Now when you connect, it needs you to enter your username and password. So now let's enter our username which is actually student, student1 and then the password, you put your user your password so now once you enter your username and password, click on login So once you log in, you'll be able to see different causes shown here. So select the cause becoming a 21st century, 21st century teacher, which is going to start on January 2021, which is actually this one. Becoming a 21st century teacher, January 2021. Click on the cause. Once you click on the cause, you will have a list of activities that you need to do as a student. So you can see all the course modules will be seen here. It keeps on loading all the course resources. So to start with, make sure that you have navigated all these parts. Lead the announcements, lead the entry survey, then introduce yourself to other course participants. Again, participate. Uh, if you have any technical questions, please post them in here. But how do you do that? Suppose you want to introduce yourself. Click on the introduce yourself. And then what you do is that read the instruction here. And then you can be able to see the some others have already made their introductions. Now what you do to add your own introduction, click on this plus sign here. Now when you click on the plus sign, you can be able to enter your heading, Hello Teachers. So introduce yourself. So now you start writing your message. Uh, I am I am John Jacob. Uh, John Jacob from Mtakuja. Secondary school. I teach, maybe I teach math. I have 10 years experience, maybe. 10 years experience. And keep on saying more. Maybe our school has the ICT tools I have been using for so and so and so. So keep on writing more. Then once you finish writing this one, click on post to the forum so that your post can be seen by others. Now, once you have posted your forum, you'll be able to see your, your post coming here. So other, other participants can be able to see yours. Now, scroll down to respond to look into what others have introduced themselves. Go down and introduce you and write something to the post made by others. Suppose you want to reply to this Senaburia George. Click on the 
post itself. Then you can be able to read what Senator Bureau George has written, and then you can also be able to reply reply on the call on the on the post. So in this reply, you can also be able to write a message. Thank you for your introduction. For your introduction. Then you can also ask a question. Do you use ICT in your school? So that whenever it comes back, you can be able to respond to your question. Once you write like this, then you click on the post to the follow. So now you have introduced yourself. At the, at the same time, you have also you have also uh, written or commented on the post made by others. This is part one. Now let's look into how you participate in other activities. Yeah. Then scroll down to be able to participate into other activities. So you can watch the videos as well because there are videos that you can click on. Click on the video from your mobile phone. So the video is start playing. So you should be able to see. I'll be taking you about the topic throughout this course. And my so to stop, click on, on stop. Then from there, you can also be able to take the quiz. So click on, on the uh, take quiz here. Now you have this attempt quiz now. So click on attempt quiz now. What you do now is read the question and then select the choice. Let's say this is the choice. So I'm selecting this and then click on next. Click on next. So that question is done. This is question two. Read the question and then select the choice. So let's, let me say this is the choice. So now what you do, click on next to continue. Now if there are only two questions, it will give you a summary and then click on submit all and finish. So click on submit all and finish. Then say OK. So now you have submitted all your, that quiz is submitted, all the activities submitted. So you get a summary of all the activities you have done, whether you have got the right choice or wrong choice, and their feedback as well. So this is how learning happens. Now go back again to some other activities. Now to participate in discussion forum, what you do from the course itself, you look into where the discussion forums are. Like this is one of the discussion forums. When you see this one is where you come to share your own experiences and your own views. Now on this, click on the discussion forum here. Now, since this is a new discussion forum, nothing has been posted. So to start your discussion forum or to respond to this question here, because you have to respond to the focus question set here, click on this particular icon here. Now from here, you can put your title. You have your own experiences based on the question that is set on top. So respond to the question. So you can say maybe, uh, so challenges heading, changes in my class. So in my class, you just give now write your, your message here. In my class, in my class, I see students doing so and so and so. You keep on responding to the message itself. From there, when you finish writing your message, then you click on post to the follow. So your post will now be seen to others. So others, when they come, they'll be able to see that someone called sample student has responded to this particular you know, to this particular question that is set here. So always respond to the question that is set so that you keep the discussion moving forward. So again, once you're in the course, you have two types of activities. You have ungraded activities, which are activities of this kind, which are not graded actually. And then you have those which are graded, which will be written as graded, graded, graded. These are quizzes that you need to have some scores and will be considered during your final mark. So when you are responding to this again, remember that these are graded and therefore you have to respond to, the, to these quizzes very carefully. But again, we have put for you, uh, for every week we have put for you PDF files for the lectures that we have, we have discussed in that week. So the, click on this PDF, um, this folder to be able to view all the PDF resources for you to be able to download. So you can click on the links here to be able to download them, or you can just open them by clicking on the on the on the files themselves and delete them from your phone as well. So you can be able to read from your phone as well. So to go back again, so remember to click on this particular option to go back. So you want to read this one, click on this particular file. It will open, and then you can start reading about this file. So go back and then go back to the last page. Then of course, we also have put for you external resources because 
what we give you is not enough and therefore you need to also to go to the internet or to go to some to read some pdf resources to be able to understand more about the concepts so like here we have put external resources for you to be able to use how to use tps in your classroom external resource number two how to use p instruction in your classroom so the more you read this more is where you'll be able to respond to this assimilation quiz that is shown here so assimilation quiz will come from all the external resources while reflection quiz will come from all, all the discussion forums that are happening that week and then knowledge quiz will come uh, from the all the resources materials that you have read for that week that's how this course is set so remember to participate in each and every aspect of this particular course to get the most of it but again if you keep on scrolling down you go to get to some other resources in many cases you'll be required also to submit some uh, pictures of your classroom what you are happy what is happening in your classroom so what you do you also click on the, the uh, on the um, on the links to be able to upload for instance like here share your share your experiences from your classroom share the photos from your classroom so in this case click on this button here and then you can be able to uh, add a submission so you can click on add submission here and then you can also be able to share your files add files click on add files and then select your photo a photo from your computer from your computer for instance or from your phone from your album or from your camera if you want to take from your album that means the photos you have recorded in your classroom click on photo albums so that you go to your computer yes allow go to your phone and start selecting the phone the images that you want to share so suppose you want to share this is your photo it is there now you can also add another file like that on this using the same procedure and then in the end you have to save in the end you can click on save here so that the file is now saved are you sure you want to save yes okay so you can add three four photos and then click on save so that the photo is actually saved in your in your in the course so now the photo is there you can be able to see that the photo has been submitted from this particular point here and i can i can click on the photo and open it and be able to open it so i can view by using and maybe view using a photo so i can click on the photo and then can be able to see now this is the photo here i can see that so that's how you'll be able to submit all the photos now click back go back and go back again now okay now at some other points you'll also be required to submit the videos submit the videos like here create your first video share the link with the others and this video activity will have a lot of marks because it involves a lot of steps so I so to add on your video link click on create your first video and link so that you can upload your link then click on the addition sign and then say give it a title maybe my video my video and then from this particular point write a message down here then say here is the link to my video then from there you can go down to my video and then you can enter your video down here so you can enter your video you can copy and paste your video here and then once you are done post to the forum so that other people can be able to view the video and then be able to write some comments so now the video is here so whoever someone wants to see this one you can click on this in this link and then you can be able to see your video so if i want to write or reply to something oh this video was very nice or oh, your video was very good what about your students are they responding so write some watch the video and write some comments based on the video at this particular point thank you i hope now you know how to use your Moodle mobile application to be able to access the content of this course so remember when you have this Moodle mobile application you'll be able to access your course content very well to be able to submit all the activities and quizzes participate in the discussion forum anywhere anytime be able to work on all the activities and also be able to share your own thinking and own also learning from your own context and you can also be able to do this in the online and offline environment. So if you're online, you can be able to access your Moodle application. But again, if you're offline again, you can also be able to access your Moodle application and complete all the activities. Well, so we hope you are going to enjoy participating in this online course. Thank you.